Hey glam dolls, what's up? Welcome back to Sparkle Faith and Glam. My name is Ashley and today we're doing a $1 makeup challenge. Um, I bought a bunch of makeup from Shop Miss U at Shop Miss USA from Shop Miss A and we're gonna try and see if it's worth it. Um, the quality, the shipping was pretty fast. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and see how I got this face and my thoughts on all the pro on the process um, during me doing my makeup and uh, yeah so let's just go ahead and get right into this video if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and click that subscription button let me know down below if you're new to my channel and welcome um, thank you so much for tuning in and let's get right into this video All right, so we're just gonna get right into it. So we're gonna start out with primer. So I got this Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer and it has little, little sparkles in it. So we're just gonna put this on our face and it has little shimmers in it. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but so we're just gonna put it on her nose. It's very like watery feeling. And I'm sorry, my face looks crazy today. My face is looking kind of crazy today, so I can't really tell. I mean, I see the little shimmers that are in it. They're like little, little glitters that are in it. It feels kind of sticky. All right, so they had this little wonder brow. And it looks just like any other dip brow. So we're going to start off with that. I am using my brushes just because... Um, I wanted to give the product full good review with using the, pro the brushes I already use. So we're going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk Angled Eyeliner Brush. I'm always nervous to pick up a lot of product because I know normally these are like really thick. So far, it feels a little waxy. I don't see too much color pigment. All right, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty impressed. I got shade medium brown. So we're just gonna brush those out. I mean, I feel like they look pretty good. I do feel like it's a little waxier than most products. It's not as smooth. Um, next, we're gonna con do concealer and I totally should have got two concealers because this concealer, yeah, you can't really see it on camera, but this concealer is like, a weird color it's like an orange almost so we're going to just conceal the eyebrow with it We're gonna blend it out with the Sonia Kashuk Concealer Brush. So next we're gonna go into um, foundation. So of course I don't wear like heavy foundation. So it's um, the AOA Perfect BB Cream. And we're gonna go in with that. So we're just gonna put it on my Sonia Kashuk brush. It looks really light, but we're just gonna figure this out. All right, so the first layer, I don't really feel like it did anything. So um, I'm gonna try it with the Beauty Blender next. So 
So next we'll do concealer. We're gonna go back in with this one and this is concealer and foundation. Complete coverage and I got the color ivory. This feels really thick, like, and a super wrong color for me. You know what? I'm gonna go in with the, like, little red spots too. Covers the red spots a little bit better than what that BB cream did. I am I'm sh pretty shocked. That like did a pretty that did a pretty good job covering, especially because I was nervous for the color. So I'm pretty impressed with the concealer. It covered quite a bit and it blended out pretty well. So it didn't really crease. That's pretty cool. So next we'll, we're going to take the um, shop, the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. It feels like flower. <laughs> it's pretty like seamlessly, seamless though. Like it feels pretty thin. So we're going to, we're gonna um, pat under our under eye again. Make sure there's no creases and then we're gonna go in with Yeah, this is very messy. We're just gonna put it everywhere we put concealer. And I got it in my eyebrows a little bit. Yeah, it's messy. So next we're gonna go in with eyeshadow and then we'll come back to our face. So I got two eyeshadows. I got this one, which is um, just classic nude smoky. And then I got this purple one. And then I got, and then I got this copper eyeliner. I don't know what the heck I was thinking when I got, where, when I was getting these colors, but there wasn't very many like palettes that were available. There was a lot of palettes that were sold out. So, but I really want to use this eyeliner. I just don't know what to go in with. So we're going to start off with this eyeshadow palette. So this is what the palette looks like. We're going to go in with my Luxie brush, but we're going to go in with this little lighter transition shade here. I don't know if it picked up anything. It has pretty good pigment. I didn't think it picked up anything. There's like no fallout. So next we're gonna go on with this top corner here. And we're just gonna pack it in. Maybe I'll put one of these on my eyelid. So these are the colors. All right, so we're gonna go on with this purple and I think I'm just gonna pop it in my crease and do like just a... So we'll use the Sonia Kashuk tape. I don't know what this brush is, oh, crease brush. So we're gonna go in that purple. All right, so we're gonna go back in with this one here. And I'm just gonna go on the edges so it can be like blended together. I hope you guys can see it pretty well on the camera. I'm gonna do brown on the eyelid too. So then just like the lighter brown. Just because I need a little color. So we're actually gonna go in with this one here. I don't like it no more. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix this color and this color together. And I don't wanna put I don't wanna put um 
the purple on the eyelid because like a shimmery purple on the eyelid because I'm gonna go in with this one. So, and I know I'm not the best at, eye, at um, eyeliner, but I'm practicing. So that's why I'm gonna start putting that in my videos. I'm gonna start doing eyeliner. So you guys can grow with me. All right, so we're gonna dust off our under eye. I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. It feels like, like flower. This like a pencil tapered brush and we're gonna go in with this lighter color and we're gonna mix it with this darker color here on top. Next we'll go back in this one and we'll go back in that dark purple. This one here on the edge, brush like this. It looks all right. And next we're gonna go in with this and we're just gonna put that in our highlighting in the front of our eye. I'm just gonna go in with a little brush like this. Then what we're gonna do is eyeliner. We're gonna use this, um, this is Fame, it's called Fame. I feel like you can't even see the color. Like, can you tell I have eyeliner on right now? I think I need to go over it a couple times. The, the product is pretty like watery. We'll let that dry, we'll do the other eye, and we'll come back. It's all right, I don't, I don't know. You guys tell me down below how it looks. I don't think it looks that great. Next, we'll go in with our mascara. I just got the Abracadabra Waterproof Mascara. Oh my gosh. This does nothing, <laughs> nothing. I don't know, I like don't like it. My eyelashes, they're not that long, but they're long enough like where mascara can make them look really long and these do nothing. So we're gonna go in with blush and bronzer, which I think both of these are really cute packaging. Like, oh, it even comes with like a little sponge. Um, so this is a blush. And it's just called blusher. There's like no. Oh, it's mauve. And this one also comes with like a little applicator. And this is the blood, the bronzer. And that is called honey. We're gonna take this brush. And this eyeliner feels like it's tightening like on my eye. Like I could feel it. So we're just gonna go in. Ooh, do you see that? That's the best I could do. In real life, it looks freaking patchy. It looks horrible. It looks brown. I think it was my fault though, because I made it like look, like I just went in. Because this side looks a little bit better. So next we're gonna go in with the blush. I think this blush looks so cute. It's pretty. So we're gonna go in with this one, the Sonia Kashuk brush, brush blush. So there's like a lot of product. This is very pigmented. All right, so I ordered a highlight. It didn't come broken. My self, dumb self, I dropped it. And it didn't even drop from that far. It dropped like from like that high. And it didn't look like it was gonna crack at first. Like it cracked a tiny bit. But the more it just sat there and like moved around like in the bag when I grabbed it out my car and stuff like that, the more it broke. 
So this is what it looks like. It breaks very easily. And I'm scared to even open it. It looked like a really good highlighter though. This is it. It's broken. It's, it's pretty done. But we're gonna attempt. So I'm gonna go on with the lighter color. Attempt to go on with the lighter color because there's kind of dark color. Oh, yeah. I'm so sad. Pretty blinding, I must say. Next, we're gonna go in with, last but not least, the lip lip liquid lipstick and it's called wonder matte and of course it's like a nudish well i thought i was picking a nudish color that smells so good it smells like berries i mean it's pretty i didn't get setting spray either i just realized that um so I'm gonna conceal the lips because I like to do that just to clean them up a bit. And that eyeliner that I put on top of my eyelid, it feels like it's like tightening. Like it's cracking. Oh yeah, it's cracking for sure. So we're just gonna put some concealer on a little brush and just clean up. I just feel like when you put concealer and clean up your lips, it, they just look a lot better. All right, you guys, this is my finished look. I feel like overall, like everything being a dollar, it, it turned out pretty well. This little BB cream, I feel like it was just all right. It didn't cover much. Um, once I put the concealer on it though, the one that I was so worried about the color, it, it came out to turn to look better. So yeah, this is my full look. I think it's just, I think it's all right, especially like I said, for being a dollar. The primer did its job. Like everything looks like synced in. Like everything looks like flawless on my skin if I would have just applied everything like um, in moderation. Um, the eyeshadow, it blended pretty well. Um, they were lots of pigment. There's not too much fallout. The only thing was like this one, it was like really powdery um like i said like flour so there's that but overall i think if you're on a budget and you need money or i'm sorry if you're on a budget and you need makeup shop miss a might be a good option or like elf um i bought all these products with my own money so nobody like it wasn't this isn't a sponsored video um yeah so if you guys like this video if you would like to see like more videos like this then go ahead and leave me some comments down below to let me know and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and to let me know you liked it and i will see you guys next time peace